Got a message from Amber. She wrote, we're trying to switch over to the new version of Captivate and are running into issues with the new closed captioning feature. This feature does not allow us to have our captions at the bottom and fill the space accordingly, no matter what settings we try. Additionally, the closed captions tend to move wherever they want on each slide. Can you give us any advice on this? Well, Amber, I've recently had an experience where I've had to update some closed captions uh, for a course that I've uh, been working on for one of my previous clients, they've asked for some updates to the training. So what I've done is I've gone in and I've gone to the closed captioning settings. And one of the things with the new closed captioning settings is that there are, in fact, two different types of closed captions available. If you bring up this little drop down here, you'll notice that you've got settings for all of the individual slides, which may be useful in some cases, but if you've already designed your template to have a specific location for your closed captions, you're probably going to want to choose project. And then of course, when you make any uh, saves or changes to that particular closed caption settings, make sure you check this off and hit apply. So what I've done in this case is I previously had this course designed with closed captions in mind in this white space just below my back and next buttons here. To help me set this up properly, what I've done is I've made the closed caption window red. Just by using the opacity feature, I'm able to uh, show or hide the area that uh, that I'm using. So let's let's start off with the customization here. So I'm using Trebuchet MS. That's the font that they they like. I've went with a size of 16, the color black, centered, and sort of top justified in the uh, the closed caption window. But of course now I can set all of these settings accordingly. So if I want the width to be, let's say, 80%, and I want it to be uh, 10% from the, the left hand side. And then of course I can choose at what point the closed captions appear. So I don't want them to overlap with those back and next buttons. So I'll just kind of scroll that down until I've got a little bit of white space underneath. And then I can adjust the height accordingly so it doesn't spill into other areas there. So let's let's go with about there I think. You know, and maybe I'll use some more of my white space here. So let's just slide that over to the left here and make this a little wider, just in case some of my closed captions are a little bit larger. So now that I know I've got the appropriate space, I can bring that opacity down to zero and that looks pretty good. So again, remember to override the slide level settings with project settings and click apply. And this will now be the settings for all of my slides in my Adobe Captivate 2017 project. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.